fun free things inside Lambeau Field and around it coming right up. We are going to go inside and check out Lambeau Field in just a moment. you got to stay tuned. Sure, if you can see that over there. Oh, there's a G just past that sign. A giant G. That is Lambeau Field up over there. I will actually show you the secret way to Lambeau Field. There's a secret way. It's a road called Oneida. So the way I like to get to Lambeau Field is right here, Oneida Street. You take the Oneida exit, you're landing right in the background and backyard of Lambeau Field. And there's cool stuff on that street. We'll be checking it out in a second. It swoops around. We'll show you how to get there. And we will show you where you get the deals on some of the Packer stuff if you're a fan. And if not, we love you anyway. Look at that. I got a buddy back home named Joe Day. He loves that Five Guys action. But we are looping around. We are covering fun and free things to do. Now, up here in Wisconsin, not in many areas they have it, but there's a place called Shopco, and it's sort of like a Walmart, and they're really great. There is a Shopco, usually up here around the corner. We are just gonna trek right up to Lambeau Field. There's Shopco, look at that big Green Bay style Shopco action right there. Now one thing they have in Green Bay, rather close to the stadium, is this old school Arby's sign. We'll take a look at it over there. Old school Arby's sign, just barely through that Sherwin-Williams. Old school Arby's sign, check that out. Green Bay, Wisconsin, not far from Lambeau Field, super cool. And you can see right through these trees coming up, this is historic football action right here. No matter if you're a Packer fan or not, there's so much tradition up here. Keep in mind, every football team chases the Lombardi Trophy. Hall, oh, stadium right there. Don Hudson Center over there. We are going that secret route. This is the secret way to Lambeau Field into this neighborhood. Oh, there's the stadium right there. Right there. Pretty quiet neighbors most of the season, right? But that's Packer Stadium. This is the secret way into Lambeau Field. So if you're ever up here for a game, come up this way and typically the neighbors that are right around here We'll be parking cars. So like, look, there's neighbors here, barricades there, Lambeau Field, and look, look, the secret entrance. The secret entrance right there, as promised to Lambeau Field. It's on the neighborhood side. We are on the opposite side of where the Lombardi statue is and the Lombardi clock and the pro shop so we are on the opposite side and this is a neat place where you can park and sneak up into the game you get here a little bit early sneak into this neighborhood and sometimes these very nice neighbors right here will let you park right in their yard for like maybe i don't know 10 bucks and that ain't bad because boom you're right here and then you can actually wiggle out of here pretty quickly if you know what you're doing and usually you just get right on it and uh, if you know the, <laughs> what the score is going to be and you don't mind leaving the game a little bit early, you're all set. So if you come here with the kids and you just want to check out the stadium, the family, and you're like, ooh, what else could we do? Check this out. Oh, if I am not mistaken, isn't that a park? A park. Pretty decent slide, a pavilion there. You could cook out. So all right here in the Packer land neighborhood game day oh my gosh you want to be a neighbor to Lambeau Field the stadium is just over that way a nice house with an attached garage birch tree in the front yard they don't have those all over the Midwest either look 
call that realtor and lock that puppy down. I wonder what they want for it. Oh my gosh, does it come with season tickets? Oh, that'd be awesome if it came with season tickets. The famous Don Hudson Center. This is where they practice. That's right, Don Hudson Center. They practice right there. Old famous Lambeau Field. There it is. Lambeau Field, everybody. Okay, Sydney Storm here, fun and free things to do. We are in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Check it out, Don Hudson Center here, and none other than the world famous Lambeau Field right behind me. The Oneida entrance of Lambeau Field, Packers Stadium. Prepping for the game. We want to check out a few things around here. Tailgate Village, Tailgate Village. This is fun and free to stop by here. Check out this stuff. Oh, look it. Hey, bring me that game. Bring me that game. Don Hudson Center. This is a strip where all the fun stuff happens. Don Hudson Center, and this is where the Packers practice. So you can see they got a cool, groovy little field there. They have obviously an indoor field here. They are gearing up for the preseason game against Tennessee Titans this week. Don Hudson Center. Now, if you're lucky and you come here at just the right time, boom. This is where the Packers practice. Right here. They got this field. You can see it there. We'll cruise past it nice and slowly. Sometimes they even cover this up so that you can't really see what they're doing. But this is uh, their convention center, event center. Coming up October, they got Cirque de So Ill. Right through here, all of these places will have little vendors, people. Look, look at that giant Lombardi trophy action. Here. Even like this little motel, game day, any other day of the week, nice and cheap to probably stay there. Game day, expensive. You can usually stay in Appleton, which is just a little way south of here, and it'll really save you. You can also find places to park in this neighborhood across the street from Lombardi. Lombardi Avenue. Ooh. Lombardi Avenue. Oh my gosh, and they are welcoming us to Green Bay. Thank you so much, Green Bay, you're awesome. This is another angle of it. Look at these people who live here. They got great, you know, they have like their own stadium seats in their own yard because they'll watch it on TV, but listen to it all happen from here. Oh, there we go. We are the pack, we are winners. Oh yeah fun and free things to do right here at Lambeau Field. You don't necessarily have to have tickets to be part of this fun. Packers Pro Shop. Miller Lite Gate. Sydney Storm here with baby Jessalyn Gale and we are here at Lambeau Field. That's right, we are going to check out a few of those fun free things that you can do right here in the Midwest. One of them is stopping by the Packer Pro Shop. Never hurts to go through there. You can even do stadium tours. Uh, the other thing is they got neat statues you can get your picture in front of. We're going to go check those out right now. Right behind us, you're going to get your picture always for free with Vince Lombardi right there. He is a little bit bigger uh, than he was in real life, obviously, but it's a great place to get pictures. We'll check out another neat place to get pictures in a second. So here we are in front of the Lambo Leap wall right here, statue, the fans. So if you're not lucky enough to have something right down there in the end zone and be part of a Lambo Leap, you can always be part of this one. So like right here, look, see, you can jump up on the wall and be part of the fun with these guys right here anytime. And all these fans like to line up right here before a game. So we are here a few days before they are doing a game. 
Uh, they're going to play the Tennessee Titans. Well, there's, there'll be a long line here. So we beat the crowd. Baby girl's sleeping. And we got some fans that are around here already starting to line up to get theirs. You got to get your picture too, jumping up on it. But that is some of the fun, free stuff that you can do around Green Bay, Wisconsin. Get up here, everybody. The Lambeau Field Atrium. You got to stop here. Cruising through Lambeau Field. Big Packer fans get their cars and trucks tricked out. Sometimes with their own businesses and sports bars right on them. It's pretty cool. Might cost you a little bit, but not as much as you'd think considering it's an advertisement. So it's an expense. Expenses are often deductible, right? Lambeau Field. Giant Vince Lombardi right here. Giant Vince Lombardi, you can always get your picture next to him any time of the day. It's totally free. Not to mention Curly. You get your picture next to Curly, Lambo. Now, say what you want about maybe the Green Bay Packers. Perhaps they're not your favorite team, but every team out there that's in the NFL strives to achieve that goal of winning the Super Bowl. And what is the trophy they give away? Oh, that's right. The Lombardi Trophy. Yeah, the Lombardi Trophy. A super fan. As we continue up this walkway, we're going to continue up this walkway around Lambeau Field. We're going to see something super cool coming on up here. It's a little jog up here. This stadium is huge. Lots to walk around. We were on the exact opposite side of the stadium just a little while ago. And that's the location where you can park in those neighborhoods. And we actually saw a house for sale over there. And I'm willing to bet, with it being the Midwest, that house is probably priced at less than uh, $200,000. Looked like a ranch with a style house with a garage. What we see here, the clock that you see right there, it is set to what they call Lombardi time. You see, it says five o'clock on there, but it is not five o'clock. Set to Lombardi time, it's five o'clock. True time is 4.45. Why did Vince Lombardi do that? For many reasons, but the primary one is so that you'll be on time, but not only be on time. You see, if you're on time, you're late. You see, you gotta be there early. It says it's five, set to Lombardi time, it's 4.45, so that you can get to where you need to be, do an intake of the situation, get prepared, and be more than ready. That's why this is five o'clock. Set, set to, says five o'clock, set to Lombardi time, it's 4.45. See, when they first put this in, Nobody even noticed it was 15 minutes ahead for several weeks. And then they finally talked about it on game one night, saying, yeah, it's 15 minutes ahead. Be on Lombardi time if you are gonna be motivated to get stuff done, to check this stuff out, you gotta get there early. But that's something I wanted to share with you, Lombardi time. Furthermore, if you're ever here for a game, right over that way, there's a place called Kroll's with a K. Kroll's. Now Kroll's has a really awesome butter burger that is, if there's anything similar, it's like the one they kind of have at Culver's, but different. And you can come here and tailgate with all kinds of people and that won't cost you anything other than your time in getting down here. You can check out the scene around Packer Stadium, that really cool tailgating stuff get pictures with the trophies, see the Lombardi clock, set to Lombardi time, get yourself a bur butter burger from Kroll's. I'd say those are all on my list. Additionally, you know, this place is like open all the time. You get those Packer tours. You got these cool neighbors across the street that, you know, I'm sure game day for them is off the chain. But make sure that you click like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you're seeing here. The Lambeau Field statues, the coaches, the Packer wall down there. You gotta get in on this action. A lot of it is fun, it's free. One giant Super Bowl trophy. That is one giant Super Bowl trophy. <gasps> Welcome to the home of the Green Bay Packers. There we 
we go. Prices for touring the stadium, and look, children five and under are free. Oh yeah. Now, normally taking yourself and people to a game here can be very, very expensive. Unless you know somebody who could hook you up with tickets at a fair price. And I've got tips and tricks on how to be able to find nice tickets at a great price here at Lambeau Field. I will tell you more about that. What they do have going on here is that soon it will be Packer Family Night. Family Night at Lambeau Field is really, really fun, and it's one of the cheap and fun and nearly free things that you can do because if you want to take your family to a Packer game but don't want to spend all that money, come here to the Family Night. And Family Night is where the Packers play the Packers, that they play a scrimmage, and sometimes they play that scrimmage against another team. Because I've seen them play the Buffalo Bills at that uh, scrimmage before and you get to see it for next to nothing some of those tickets they even give away you might be able to get them for about 20 bucks and that's a really great deal considering that the price of most tickets I think are about 85 or 55 or so on face value but then of course the games are always sold out you have to you know know somebody or buy them online and they can be like three four five times as much money so that's one of the cool, fun things you can do. Packer family night. Cheap to see the Packers with your family in the stadium. Make it one of the things you do. They usually have it every August, um, in early August. And you just get your family here. Look for it online. You could usually even come here the night of, and there's people that will be selling them outside. And one of my tips for getting tickets cheap is this way I'll tell you if you're looking for tickets at a decent price for a Packer game stay tuned to the end of this video and I'll tell you my secret tips for getting your tickets to a Packer game cheap quick easy so that way you can have fun stay tuned to the end of this video to find out how all of these amazing people here are waiting to get autographs from Packer alumni we have a new YouTube fan right there behind us. She's gonna be checking us out. <laughs> Information we have right here is about the Ice Bowl. One of the craziest, coldest football games ever played right here at Lambeau Field. And it was before they had this nice, big, beautiful atrium for you to get warm inside of during a game. So it's very nice that they do. Ha it's very nice that they do have this place for you, because uh, otherwise you'll be freezing, freezing, freezing. But that little plaque talks about it. it. It was just crazy. They played the Cowboys. They won 21 to 17. But the ground was the ground was frozen, frozen. That's right. It was just nuts. Anyway, more on the ice bowl at different time. There, look at that big, huge G behind me. Question of the day. What was your first pro football game? Did you go to one? If not, who would you like to see? Would you like to see the Packers or somebody else? Please comment below, interact with us. We'd like to talk with you. And if you enjoyed what you see here on fun and free things to do with your family, then please click like and subscribe. Share this with people you know. Yeah, security keeping us safe. Packer guest services back there. My man right here keeping the stadium clean. We got everything locked down right here at Packers Stadium. If you need some eats, it's 1919. Kitchen and eats. If you are hungry, you come here. Yeah. They got a full blown restaurant right in here. Look at that. Oh, you gotta eat here. Check out that bar. Oh my gosh. If I didn't have baby girl and was gonna drive, I'd totally love to have a drink, but it ain't gonna happen today. You can come here early before a game and get your party on. Yeah! We have Packer Guest Services. They are working hard for you back there. Local Green Bay information, schedules, stadium tour information and everything you need to know and security here keeping us safe if you can see behind us there is a private event going on back there that uh they have some packers that are here signing autographs 
and uh, yeah, that happens sometimes. Uh, that's a special Packer event that's going on with, uh, I think they got uh, Coons, the old player. Oh, okay. In Having a meet and greet and autographs and stuff. This is our baby girl right here. One week and one hour old. One week old. She's celebrating a birthday right here at Lambeau Field for her. And uh, having a picture of you? Now, we are about to go into the world famous Packer Pro Shop. Now, some people want to have official Packer merch. If you are looking for a specific player's jersey, you'll be able to find it here usually. Uh, you can't always find those at the stores, even around Wisconsin, but it is pretty sweet to know that you can always stop in here and get them. So there's really, really neat stuff all around Green Bay, Wisconsin, but this is something fun to do. We're gonna head in there. We're heading in there in just a quick second. The Packer Pro Shop. And here we go, into the Pro Shop. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow, look at this place. This is Packer land, this is awesome. Check this out. This Packer Pro Shop is huge. Isn't that right, Gail? Yep, she agrees. Fun to come on in and through here. Get yourself a Packer golf bag. Only about 250. Looks like it's leather though, real nice. All right, we've got a lot of neat Packer stuff in here. stuff stickers oh they got more Packer golf clubs over here Packer golf clubs sweet you don't see those every day and they even got umbrellas in them there that's good some Sydney storm I need umbrellas all oh, this wall of plush toys all the golf shirts Packer on them oh 3x heavy all around Pillows. Hey, there we go. Let's stay golden, everybody. My non Packer Packer shirts stay golden. My gosh, look at this cheese truck. Would you look at this cheese truck? Feeling a little cheesy. Ha <laughs> ha, at the moment. A Chevy cheese truck. Oh. oh, Aaron, Aaron. Oh, a cheese truck. Surely an outfit. So free or nearly free. Look at this. For eight ninety five, you get four. Packer wristband. So that's not a bad price on that by any stretch of the imagination. You get one for each person in the family, so that way for about $250 or less per item, you get yourself a Packer wristband from here. So nice, good, inexpensive souvenir for you. And Mama Bear and Baby Bear went to go check out some of these cool kids' clothes. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Put yourself a little Rogers outfit right there. Oh my gosh. We got all these onesies right here. Look. I think baby girl's doing some baby girls doing some shopping right down in here. So all oh, look. They got unique hats. They got all kinds of stuff. Look. You can get yourself a Barbie type Packer cheerleader. Oh, my gosh we might just need to trade out our baby carrying thing for this one look at this look at this nice Put your baby in here we have about three different little things like this onesies at home look at that for a little girl oh just an unbelievable amount of stuff here for kids little kids and babies we got baby girl down in here she is looking at some of her own Packer stuff for the first time. You finding anything neat, hun? My really cute. 
Oh, three pack set. Oh, that's nice. Infant. Infant. We got baby stuff. Packer stuff. Tiny coveralls. Ah. Infants. Oh my goodness. And look at this. Ah. You little tiny packer. Onesie. Oh my goodness. That looks so cute. Oh, look at that big, huge G behind my shoulder. That's so cool. <gasps> A Packers mountain bike. Oh my goodness, now you can see the bike, the Don Hudson Center over there. Now, one of the traditions is at some point when the season starts, local kids will take their bicycles over to the Don Hudson Center. The kids will run next to a packer riding their own bike. So if you're lucky and you're a kid in the Green Bay area and you know the time they're doing that, you take your bicycle to the Don Hudson Center and if you're lucky, one of the packers will ride your bike from the Hudson Center, Don Hudson Center over there right here to Lambeau Field before they play. Now wouldn't that be cool? And here's all the different players jerseys that you can get as promised See, you can't find everybody in other stores or even online. You can't find all of these players. But look, they got them. They got them usually in t-shirts. They have them in official jerseys. And you gotta be on top of it and check it out. <laughs> they even got the old school ones. Look, the throwbacks. Got yourself a throwback Matthews right here. That's right, the Predator. <sighs> Yeah, awesome. So you got all this giant wall of them right here. So you get all the ones that you could ever use, could ever have, and they also have them in figures and bobbleheads. It is so cool. You got to get down here at some point. And when you meet a Packer player, they're usually about this big. They're about this big they're real big guys can koozies you see everything here you got all your normal smaller chotch here pennants tissues packer sunscreen and hand sanitizer ponchos and more this is the packer pro shop if you guys are ever in the area get down here to lambeau field packer pro shop Fun free things to do for the family and doesn't cost a thing to walk in here, come through here. And if you want something nice and cheap, that usually you can get yourself a little sticker or something like that. Like, you know, you can get yourself just a five dollar gift or something like that. So it's it's you know, that way you could say that you've been here without breaking the bank. It's always a really, really cool thing. Look at this. Huh? Zip mates, little football zipper. For your for your coat face decorations I've always liked pennants we'll go over these in the future because I have a bunch from when I was a kid and usually they were always about a dollar right here at the pro shop these are ten bucks 995 that's not bad price on that at all tissues that that you can always use you'll need them if it's cold up here and when you are here for a game, these are the escalators. That gets you up into the stadium. You can't go there now. But during a game, that's where all the fun's happening, and it is nuts. So we are lucky that we are here. It is a busy day here at the Packer Pro Shop. However, it is much more manageable than on game day, especially with baby girl. So they even have Packer jewelry, Packer jewelry right here. Oh, I see it. All different kinds. Check this out, ladies. Purses. Oh yeah, real nice. Packer booties. The jumbo Packer overalls. Gotta get them. Slippers and flip flops. Slippers and flip flops. You got any of those uh, Green Bay Packer uh, golfing shoes? Like to wear them golfing and. Uh, some other things. If you have a favorite style of hat, they usually have it here. Plus, all different cool kinds. Some that just say Lambeau Field, some that will have your favorite players on them, and others that, of course, just say Packers. But this is a great place to get that headgear that you want, 
to tell everybody that you're a Packer fan. And of course, when it gets cold, look at that. Stocking caps, gotta have them. See, now Vince Lombardi would kind of wear hats like these, and guess what? They came back into style. Thank you so much. Yeah. One week this hour. Yeah, one week this hour. Uh, almost six pounds. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you so much. Now, they have other unique, special Packer items here behind us. You don't see these every day. They got all kinds of signage, wooden signs, other small little people Packer clothes there behind us that we didn't even see earlier. Holy smokes. Then they also have the Packer chairs, the setup, everything you need for tailgating. So if you're a huge fan, get on down here, check this stuff out at some point. This is a bucket list place. A Packer bowling set wow <laughs> i mean this is just unreal i i'm at almost like a loss for words look green bay packer crock pot wow they are ready for christmas look at that a packer tree topper hey mama bear what'd you get for baby bear i'm gonna get her this hair clip there we go how much is it it is only 4.95 4.95 4.95 so that is a nice little souvenir thing that we can have here for the baby yep there we go we better go and check out we'll get just that i think for now you get your backer stuff you got to check out right here it says now during game day there's some long lines in here so it's almost always a good idea that if you come up for a game be here a bit day early and you can swing through this pro shop when not everybody is here this is the lines of the Packer Pro Shop. That's where they'll be playing the games. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got kudos about the baby from some Packer fans. We have multiple registers here. But do what we do, get down here the day before a game or early. This place is open frequently. Check the stadium for hours. Look it up online. We'll put a link below to the Packer store. First one. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Yeah, we're doing like fun, fun and free things to do and do videos on that kind of stuff. Free or nearly free. So you can get decent prize souvenirs around here. So without breaking the bank. So we're curious, how old's your baby? Uh, one, week, one week. What time is it? Three something maybe? Three thirty-four. Uh, she was born at 3.11 last week this on Friday. Bird. So yeah. we had to buy our Right? Yeah, yeah, we've got four onesies already. All right. Yeah. Three of them came in the mail from fr our friend that lives in O'Connell Falls. Woo! Aww. There we go, Packer Pro Shop. You guys got to get down here to get cool stuff like this. Thanks a lot, buddy. We really appreciate it. Hey, we'll see you on game day. Thanks so much. Even when it isn't a game, there is a bit of a line at the Pro Shop. We were down here. We spent five dollars that's right we only spent five dollars we got baby girl a hair pin bow from the pro shop oh see that I'm taking off I think they're gonna fly over the stadium it's our military hard at work there behind us there you have it so again right over there Don Hudson Center Lambeau Field statues get your pictures the pro shop right here, Kroll's just the other side. You can park for next to nothing, 10 bucks when it's game day over in those yards over there. Parking right here while you're here visiting is free. Parking is free if you're here on a non-game day to just come to the Packer Pro Shop. I'm Sydney Storm. Thanks again for joining us at Lambeau Field. This was such an excellent visit. We have some goodbyes we'll be saying inside as well. Check that out. Thank you for enjoying some of the time here at Lambeau Field. Come right here to the stadium. There's usually people who will have tickets outside the Don Hudson Center that we saw earlier. The Don Hudson Center is just across the street. It's where the Packers practice, and that's where they have people with permits allowed to sell tickets for whatever price they would like. Now, when they do, they are hustling those tickets, and they are making money, but you can usually get good deals on them. So sometimes, uh, with the, the Packer tickets for family night, those are really, really cheap compared to for the, the price of a regular game. So you got to get yourself down here, at least for that, you can take the whole family at a fraction of the price. So, yeah, 
and we have some Packer fans checking out our little young Packer fan down there. Yep. So she's only a week old. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, she's only a week old. Yeah, our little girl checking out Packer stuff for the first time. Those are some of my tips. Now, if you want to get tickets for a regular game, also go to the same place and you can hold your hand up into the air for how many tickets you need and there'll be people there hustling them. But one of the best ways is you can walk through the crowd. Here's one of my best tips, is that if you are especially here by yourself, that you can walk through the crowd with your finger in the air, like this. That you just need one ticket. I just need one ticket, like this. But it really helps if you pull a sad look on your face, like you've been walking for a long time, like this, you go. <laughs> you sniffle and you hold up that finger and eventually what you'll find is that there, the tickets for season tickets are sold in packs of four and you'll find usually three people going to a game and somebody bailed on them and they just want to get rid of that ticket dirt cheap and they usually will give you a Packer ticket. I've had people just hand out a Packer ticket to another person in line. I've seen that right at the gate uh, and uh, for full face value free. Uh, but then they might sell it to you for just a tad bit more than what they paid for it themselves So it might be just 75 bucks. You could catch a game uh, and that's a pretty decent price For checking out a Packer game I'm gonna get out and just score some beef footage here super quick okay. oh, Got a dude on a Woo get yourself a bur butter burger from Kroll's um, and I can usually eat two of them. They run about six bucks. Pardon my enthusiasm. Set to Lombardi time. And then just go ahead and hit that button a whole bunch. Oh wait, I gotta turn it around. My apologies, go ahead. 